Hey there, I'm Tesla and I'm back with a really quick Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. So this one is a request and it's just a basic tutorial looking at how to create a sprinting system for our character. So let's jump right in. Okay, so I'm going to open up my character blueprint. I'm going to right click and I'm going to use the key that I want to use for sprinting. So I'm going to use left shift. And I'm going to right click now and I'm going to type in character movement and we're going to get character movement. So if we drag this out now, we can type in set walk and we're going to choose a set max walk speed. So if you come into the defaults tab, you can find your default walk speed by scrolling down to the character movement tab and you'll find max walk speed. So my set's are 150, so it's like he's walking. So when we release this, we're going to make sure it's set to 150. But when we press it, we want it so he speeds up. So let's change this to, let's put it just to something really noticeable like 1000. And it's as simple as that. So if I click compile and jump in, and I'm pressing left shift now, you can see we have a simple sprint system set up. Okay, so there's another way we can do this. We can make it so we can gradually increase our speed and make it to our max speed. And then we, when we release left shift, we start slowing down. So to do that, we can use a timeline. So we can delete this one. And we're going to just right click and add a timeline. Let's call this run speed. Let's open this up and we're going to add a float track. And let's name this again. Let's call this run speed. And let's make the length of this, let's say, just two seconds. And we're going to hold left shift down and click. And with this selected, we're going to change this to zero. But we're going to change this value to 150. Okay. And now in our sorry at two seconds we're gonna left shift and click again and we're gonna change this to two just to make sure it's directly on two and we're gonna change this to 1000 okay so if we close this we can connect press to play and release to reverse and connect update to set but then connect our run speed to the max walk speed here so our um, max walk speed is determined in this timeline. So now if I jump in and click play, we start gradually increasing our speed and now I'm going to release it now. And now we start slowing down again. Okay, so this has just been a basic tutorial looking at how to set up a sprint system for our character. So thanks for checking it out and make sure you stay subscribed for my future tutorials. Cheers guys.